Hey, 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 good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a badass episode of MudBugMiniTrucks.com. Mr. MudBug here, bringing you a 2015 Dahatsu deck van. Name of the truck is called Roadrunner. You'll notice it's cloudy in the back. It's going to be hard to get all the cool colors and stuff we've done to it. I'm going to try to catch all the upgrades we've done, but it's raining. While well, it was raining yesterday, got a light misty stuff coming today, and the owner's coming to get his van. He's very excited. He's going to use it for a shoot this weekend so he can bring it with him. Anyway, the name of this truck is called the Road Running. See it up there on the windshield. And uh, as you can see, man, we have that custom built brush guard up front. Just beautiful, man. It matches the truck perfect. Every one that we have here, we build them specifically to match each truck. Just looks really, really nice. I mean, all the way down to the details of the four inch flat bar angled with the lighting. I got a couple great employees, man, and uh, they love their job and we love what we do here. Let's go ahead and take a look. As you can see, we've got a portable winch on this one with those 50 amp red plugs right there. You simply pull this apart, move it to the back, and now you've got a mobile winch. And again, just kind of show you the level of professionalism we do. And I'm, I point this out in my videos because I believe that uh, I don't find this very often in today's uh, society, the neat and clean work that we do here. I noticed the wire is something that I point out to you quite often. That's usually one of the things that most people skip on and on, on top of that, it's right there in the front so you'll be able to see it. But uh, i just like to show you guys the professionalism that you pay for when you come here. And again, today we're going to be running a set of 23-inch uh, ultralights and a GT wheel. Uh, just freaking beautiful. The owner does uh, did pick out his own rim and tire combo, which, uh, you know, is a choice for yours when you come to, to Mudbugs. It's kind of one of those things that you get. You get to build your own stuff. Really exciting. Anyway, sorry about the video, guys. But anyway, uh, on the side you see here, we got a scene from the evening time. And what's happening is you got two road runners here that are getting ready to do a feeding with their their chick. And again, guys, look at the detail of this job. The thing is beautiful. Keep in mind, it's all hand drawn, guys. Are uh, uh, painted. It's very difficult to get the lines perfect. Let me tell you, this is bed liner, which is lumpy. It's hard to get a nice smooth line. But what's happening is you can see there's a wolf hauling back here. On the hilltop, there's some bats in the back uh, flying across the moon in this beautiful sky. You can see some shadowing from the, there's a buck running across. You know, he's trying to get away from this. He hears this wolf, he knows it's it's coming. And it definitely caught the attention of the parents here, these road runners. And even the dove you see up front is getting out of here. But again, guys, you can see the level of time and uh, professionalism I spend airbrushing and painting these things by hand. It's simply beautiful, and I, I can't even, the, the camera just don't put it into words. And let me tell you guys, it's not perfect by any stretch. I'm not an artist, I'm not a painter, I just a dude with an airbrush and paint brushes, and I like to do this stuff. It's beautiful, and I have about 40 hours of time in this paint job. You'll see on the back here, we did that uh, bumper with the two uh, pull rings on it. And it does have, you'll notice this basket. This is not my basket, I didn't build it. He brought it in, he asked us to spray it with Ben Lunner, so we did that as well. You'll notice this little bitty thing right there. That's the backup camera. And I'll get into that a little bit more as the video goes on. As you can see, it's Texas made. Name of the truck, road runner, put it on the back. Got the little grass camo. And you'll notice as we get a little higher up, he asked us to build a custom box to fit his shotgun shells. This guy is a shooter. Uh, he loves to shoot skeet. He does this on the road. He's a retired man. And uh, he asked us to build a box that fits his shells, he uses Winchester, I guess he uses other brands, oh, let me see that, but it fits perfectly in the groove and it'll hold five boxes of shells. So also you'll notice he has a gun rack up here. And again, this is not my gun rack, he brought it in and we adjusted it to fit and we had it custom fit to make it uh, where it goes inside the bed. So he keeps his two, uh, uh, I believe this thing will actually hold four guns uh, up here. So really, really nice stuff. And, uh, and everything too, it still functions, you know, let me see if I can get that gate open. Oh, and the gate open, you can see right there, boom. Still got a really nice size bed for a small truck. Also something you might notice too, and I forgot about this, I'm glad I opened that thing up, but look, at we built the chains to, to hold the gate open. As you can see, I shrink wrap them. Uh, and I personally did this, so I know that, uh, you know, for me, I do shrink wrap some of the guys who use a different material, which you'll see everybody you know, we kind of, I kind of just let them run free. As long as they do a good job and it meets my approval, then uh, I'll let them do whatever they want to make the truck uh, unique. 
anyway, again, guys, he only wanted to run 23s. He didn't want to go too tall with it. He wanted 23s on it. And this brings us around. Oh, I know what she's thinking. And, I, you know, I almost forgot because, man, I do so many of these videos. But, Mr. Mudbug, I want you to build me one of your badass trucks. How do I find it? Look right here. Mudbugminitrucks.com. 832-951-5220. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. We're pretty much everywhere. You can Google us. Just uh, mudbugminitrucks.com. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get to this side. Now, this is the daylight scene. You'll see here. I'm going to try to get it all in. And again, it's three-dimensional, so it's really, really cool looking. You'll see we got a, uh, a uh, Roadrunner here, and he's looking back here. There's another male Roadrunner back here. You can see, let me see if I can get some close-ups on these guys. Very colorful birds, at least uh, the tail size, and certain ones will have color, colorful feathers, depending on uh, you know where they live. But you can see got some trees going, and... Got a lot of cactus, and again, guys, the videos just don't do any justice to these things. You'll see there's a little rabbit sitting back here. He's just kind of watching the showdown. See a little spider webs going on. Let's see, in fact, I threw a spider back here. He's coming out that little hole over there. Little patches of grass. He's got a skull here, you know. I mean, it's just kind of cool how the uh, whole thing comes to life. And I see a vision in my head, and I try to bring it to life, and I hope he's happy. I think the truck came out absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Let's go over and move our way around to the hood. And again, guys, I know there's a lot to cover, but he got a lot of stuff. Check this out. You can see over here, there's a crow sitting in the background. Again, he's running. This guy's got a little speed going because he sees dinner sitting over here. Now, we got a salamander over here. And he's just sitting on a rock sunbathing. And this guy sees an opportunity to get him some lunch. And uh, he's kind of hauling ass to get there. And again, you got that crow in the background watching what's going down. Pretty cool stuff. Now, let's go ahead and get to the inside. This was one of the trucks that uh, we got confused with another truck. And uh, so there's a lot of extra features on there. He got that was free that we didn't plan on. And uh, I don't even know what they are, to be honest with you. But I can tell you one of them, I know for a fact, is this uh, backlight back here. You can see, which I failed to mention, that back cargo light. Uh, that I know is a freebie, at least that one. And I know there's some others. I just can't remember what they are. Anyway, check out the interior, guys. To go with the theme of the truck, I used a rich brown leather colored material and ostrich, uh, which really just kind of ties the whole truck together. I did uh, take the plastics off the seat so I can show you uh, the, uh, you know, the color and the material design. Also, he's got that 7-inch TV in here. And got that surround sound going. Look at that. Boom. Just really beautiful, guys. And this is an automatic. Again, I got it confused last time with a five speed. So he wanted both of them wanted him getting a lot of free stuff out of the deal, which is fine. It is what it is. I made a mistake. It didn't cost me. And I'm going to just own it up. Anyway, truck is running at the time. It's very quiet. Now, everybody asks me if it has a high low. I get that all the time. But check it out, guys. What you get is you get a park, a neutral drive, second and low. Same thing you might find if you were to, uh, you know, get in your own pickup truck. It has that same exact shift pattern. And we left the steering wheel cover. It came with this already. So we left it on there because we thought, well, it matches the interior and it's really comfortable. The truck also has keyless entry. I'm pretty certain it, it might need a battery. I, I can't recall. It was working at one time and I think it just needs a battery. Anyway. Uh, here's the door panels. It does uh, have power windows. And something else you may notice is the windows are tinted. We use 20%. Sometimes we use darker depending on the client. But this is an older gentleman. So we wanted to make sure he didn't have any trouble seeing, uh, you know, outside the windows at night. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and back out. And again, guys, I got a ton of service trucks. I've got a half dozen or so of service trucks and rebuilt engine clutches and all kind of stuff. But back here in the back, you'll notice I only have eight trucks on the ground. I have 12 more coming this month and six coming early March. So I've got 18 more coming. And, uh, you know, guys, I'm trying to buy what I can. And truthfully, it is so expensive right now for me to buy trucks that it's taking me two to buy one. And, uh, you know, it's just making it harder. It's taking the profit out of the business. It's really painful. I'm trying to. I'm hoping at some point uh, it settles down a bit, 
just like here in America, buying pre-owned trucks is very difficult. So we're, uh, we're currently buying mostly new. Anyway, guys, star of the show today is Road Runner. Uh, and again, guys, hit the subscribe button so you can see what's going on. Next, we've got another one coming up behind me. I'm not going to tell you too much about it. I'm just going to tell you it's another Dag van that's loaded out with really cool features. I've got several of them back to back. So if you hit the little icon on it, it's going to let you know that another video is released. And you can watch it and see what's, uh, you know, see what's coming up. If you like what we're doing, comment. Say what you think uh, about the video, the, the trucks. Anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for looking. I'm going to get out of here because it's getting ready to start raining again. But uh, Howdy from Texas, God bless you. Y'all take care. And, man, we sure appreciate y'all following. And we surely appreciate your business. Take care now. God bless you.